Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Battletech. Back with a quick one. I mean, a vidya. But uh, yeah, today's vidya is gonna be about, uh, you know, these guys on YouTube and in these groups who, they're basically a platform cheerleader and you know, they spin masters and, and they spread propaganda and, and that shit drives me absolutely nuts. You know, <clears throat> I, I don't see what in the world could make somebody want to get a YouTube channel started just to spread propaganda for, you know, a certain company. That, that shit drives me absolutely nuts, man. And everything out of their mouth is damage control and propaganda. Don't believe me? Take a look around on YouTube. I don't have to fucking point nobody's name out. I don't have to call nobody out. They know who they are. We all know who they are. Shit, go on different um, Facebook groups, Google communities, um, whatever. And just read through comments, and look at posts, and you'll see who who I'm talking about because they'll be the ones in there damage controlling every fucking thing that a company decides to do or every misstep a company has. They always got a positive spin to put on it. Um, or they make videos of just nothing but speculation that, that paints their system or platform in a good light. That shit, it perplexes the shit out of me, man. That shit is crazy. Like, what is going on in your brain that you can't accept that other people don't feel the same way about your plastic? That, that just, that is crazy. They'll say things like, um, oh, they hating on our system. Oh, there's a, a, a bias against our system. Oh, this, man, give me a fucking break, man. That shit is, is nuts. It's almost as nuts as, you know, these mono platform people that love to get on and uh, see another game fail. Why would you want to see a game fail? That's, that's crazy to me. Don't we benefit for having, don't we benefit from having um, like a bunch of great ass games? Like when Quantum Break had a few missteps. Oh, PlayStation Camp came out in droves. <laughs> and Uncharted 4 dropped. And they... <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, man. Play the game. Enjoy it. Because guess what? I'm playing all of that shit. Uncharted. Fucking Quantum Break. It don't matter. And I knew as soon as Uncharted 4, I was charged up for Uncharted. As soon as that shit came out, I knew what we were going to see was a bunch of cheerleaders out here, you know, talking shit about Quantum Break. What the fuck does Quantum Break have to do with Uncharted 4? Can somebody tell me that? And then now you got people, you know, completely shitting on um, Uncharted 4 because they got fucking um, taunts, dance taunts and shit. But that shit was okay in Destiny though, right? A multi plat game. Everybody had it, so it was cool. Get the fuck out of here, man. People be reaching for any damn thing. Speculate, speculate, speculate. Same people, you know, that they get, get in these groups and talk shit about, you know, the new graphics cards come out for a PC and shit. Oh, you guys gotta upgrade all the time. But they're excited about the potential of a new Xbox and a new PlayStation with um, upgraded specs. Hmm. Yeah. That 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 sounds real legit. I'm just I'm just real annoyed, man. That shit just annoys the hell out of me. Like, can anybody explain this to me? Like, why is this a thing? Why? I just don't understand. Nintendo cheerleaders. Xbox cheerleaders, PlayStation cheerleaders, PC cheerleaders. Now, here's a bit of a disclaimer. Um, I really don't, you know, I don't give a fuck about consoles, but I have them. 
uh, because like I said, there are some great games on both the Xbox and the PlayStation 4 that I could not pass up. Just being, you know, a Steam, a Steam gamer, Steam, good old games, Origin, you know, just PC in general, you know, so I just, I just don't understand that. And even those that have multiple consoles, they still, you know, it's okay to have your favorite. Okay, I'm not saying that at all. It's, it's totally fine to have your favorite console, but to constantly defend these assholes like like you're a stockholder or some shit, man. I, I just don't get it. You're not sitting in on earnings meetings and reports. You're not sitting in on on board decisions and shit like that. So why in the fuck are you out here defending bad practices, shitty games, and doing everything under the sun to to fucking promote this damn company? I, I just don't fucking understand it. That shit is deep, man. That is real deep. So I want to open up the comment section to um, to you guys and, and your thoughts. Like, are you saying the same shit that I'm saying? Um, do you guys have a, a, any type of theories on, you know, what makes these guys tick? Or if you're one of these guys and you want to fucking defend yourself in your plastic, please feel free to smash that dislike button just like you did when, when people got butt hurt over my views over Resident Evil 4. That's totally fine because that means you're checking out the vidges. But come on, let's start this dialogue. Hit up them comments. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm real curious to see what you guys think about this situation. Is the damage control and getting out of control? Are these cheerleaders getting out of hand? Drop the pom-poms and pick up the fucking controllers. That's all I got to say about that. Once again, I appreciate y'all checking out my videos. And remember, less trolling, more gaming. Man, I'm out this bitch.